Good afternoon and welcome back to La Conca Muro Lecceze in the south of Italy for the second and final round of the WSK Champions Cup for 2015. You can see on the grid behind the track image the 60cc mini drivers assembled on this magnificent circuit for their final here this afternoon to be held over 10 kilometres, 12, 12 kilometres, I'm sorry, 10 laps of this amazing circuit. We are four minutes away from hearing these 60cc engines fire up. That is indeed your pole sitter on screen, Leonardo Marcellia, driving the CRG for Team Gamoto. You'll recall the pre-final a little earlier on today. It was a frantic race. Marcellia won it. That's the view from the back of the grid, this amazing complex, which will, of course, host the World KF Championships on September 27 of this year. Mattia Miccolotto, Team Giuliano Kart, Top Kart, Perilla Powered, LKE engines, the dominant power plant in the 60cc mini class. But there are two Perillas, one aboard the Top Kart of Miccolotto and the other, the Praga of Roman Stanek. Dennis Hauger will start out of grid number three. Another of the Team Gamoto drivers. Mattia Muller came from way back on the grid in the pre-final, drove, superb, drove superbly in the energy car. Starts on the outside of the second row. Marzio Moretti, fastest lap at the Vortex Rock International Cup in October last year, driving for Team Baby Race. The outfit that won the KF Junior World title in 2012. Ten of the beautiful grid girls from Southern Italia clear the track. That's Giuseppe Fusco on screen. Driving the Lenzo cart from Sicily. The mechanics, the grid girls about to leave the circuit as we get ready for the 60cc final, the second round of this WSK Champions Cup. Rimo Kadapik on screen, another driver who drove superbly in the pre-final, starting out of grid seven. Correct myself, there's actually three Perilla engines in the field, Michelotto, Stanek, and Rip that you just saw on screen a moment ago. 30 seconds until these carts fire up. Always super entertaining, the 60cc mini drivers. Francesco Raffaele Pizzi on screen. Another one of the Lenzo kart drivers. The team from Sicily have been, I won't say dominant, but they have certainly know how to put together a very effective 60cc mini chassis. We are underway on the formation lap. Looks as though all the carts have got away. Without a problem. This is the grid. Marcellia on pole position with Michelotto on side. Then it's Dennis Hauger alongside Mattia Mulla. Marzio Moretti with Giuseppe Fusco. Remo Kadapik alongside the winner here seven days ago, Lucio Coluccio. Luigi Coluccio, I'm sorry. Luca Giardelli is out of nine with Rocco Alberto Negri. Negro out of ten. We certainly want to look out for the Forza Blue Tony car, number 535, Luigi Coluccio. He won it seven days ago on the last corner of the race. A little bit harder this week, he's off the fourth row. Local driver. 
And I can say that his father has one of the best restaurants you will ever go to if you are here in Malia in southern Italy. The two Team Gamoto CRGs closest to screen. So they go the back part of the circuit. This track built in the late 90s, as we mentioned earlier during the pre-finals, held its first competition event in 1999, a round of the regional championships. This circuit also hosted the Rotax World Finals twice, 2008 and 2010. Down through the centre chicane and into the McLaren curves as we get ready for a start. Your race director is Mr. Alessandro Ferrari. There are four red lights on the start-finish straight. When they go out, the race will be on. Marcellia leads them up to the line in the CRG cart. Mattia Micolotto alongside him in the top cart. doing no more than about 15 kilometers an hour at the most. Watch for the acceleration. When the lights go out, we've got two Indian fire lines. The field looks good. They're very, very slow. Now they accelerate. Marcellia shakes his head, but he rockets into the lead. What a start by the young Italian. marcellia has got four cart lengths over it looks like his CRG teammate, Dennis Hauger. They race down the infield for the first time. Up into third place is the baby race pilot, Marzio Moretti. That's him with the bright yellow helmet. Two carts coming together. Francesco Ferraro and also Dan Scott the Bole further back in the field. One and two, CRG. One and two, Team Gamoto. The first of 10 laps here at La Conca, Muro Lecese. Across the line, for the first time, it is indeed Leonardo Marcellia, Hauga Moretti, Remo Catapic. Great start up into fourth and seventh on the grid. Mattia Mulla, Luigi Coluccio has already made up two spots in the 535 Forza Blue Tony Kart. Hauga now. On the back of his teammate, Marcellia. Marcellia a little bit wide that time. Tight line from Halga. Let's watch him through the Ascari curves. Look at the body movement. I'm not talking about Tart, I'm talking about the driver. Halga using his upper body strength to get the grip down through those Vega tyres. Getting the maximum traction out of these little carts. The 60cc mini class. LKE engines first and second. Third, in fact, as well. But Caterpillar now up into fourth with a Perilla power. Sensible driving by the first two. Moretti in third spot starting to close in. Fastest third sector last time round for Marzio Moretti. You can see a 55-1. Mattia Mula in the energy cart in fourth and starting to put a little bit of a gap on Luigi Coluccio behind him. Over the ripple strip. Let's look for a move this time. He doesn't try. He was close enough, but he thought better of it. Sensible driving from Dennis Hauger. I can see the Gamoto team in front of me in the grandstand. They are jumping up and down, wheeling their drivers on. Are we going to see a CRG Team Gamoto one and two? Not if Marzio Moretti has a say in it. Fastest lap of the race. Look at that. Giuseppe Fusco, the Lenzo car, down in eighth spot, but on the move. Ruben Moya Lopez is in tenth, one behind Jose Gutierrez Gomez from Spain. Moretti is closing in. Half a second behind. He's closer than that. 
A look over the shoulder though. Half a second was over the line last time round, but look, he's closed up. If Hauger was thinking that they'll pull away and fight on the last lap of the race, he's gonna have to think of something else. Of course, Marzio Moretti is closing in fast. Look at him, he's right there now. He was 0.6 of a second behind last time round. Hauger now makes his move down the start, finish straight. Hauga is your new leader from Marsella. Team Gamoto one and two and Baby Race in third. Martia Mula fourth. Rocco Alberto Negro now up in the fifth spot. That's him in the cart in the background going very wide. Came from 10th up on the grid, made up five places in the top cart. At the end of this lap, we will be at half race distance. Really intelligent driving by these first three pilots. Hauga, Marcella, Moretti. That's Mattia Muller in the background, just at the bottom of the screen now, in the energy car. Oh, move up the inside by Moretti. He almost went from third to first. He is in second spot though. Fantastic move by the young Italian. Can he make it first? Oh, how easy was that? He did it, he did it. Can he hold it back? Moretti, oh, Marcelia fights back. He's gone from third to second to first to first to second, back to third. Oh in the space of about three corners. And you know what that's done? It's put Mattia Mula right on the tail. The energy car pilot in fourth and closing in on the leaders, looking for a podium spot. We are past half race distance. You saw a little signal there from Leonardo Marcella. Says, hey, let's try and pull away. Work it out amongst ourselves on the last lap. I don't think that tactic's gonna work though. Marzio Moretti is too close. Mattia Mulla is right there with him. Giuseppe Fusco, sixth place. Fusco with the fastest first six of the last time round. That's him in the top of the screen. In the Lenzo car, closing. Could we see the Giuseppe Fusco come from sixth place and end up on the podium? down into the McLaren curves. Will we see a move for the lead? Oh, he thought about it. He really did. Three laps to go at the end of this one in the slipstream. They are doing more than 100 kilometers an hour. These tiny 60cc engines, they do sound fantastic. Air cooled. Not a whole lot of power, but driven smoothly. They are still quite quick. Matthew Mula, fourth spot. You can see him on the tail of this bunch now. Fastest lap last time around. Fastest first sector again for Fusco. Oh, into second place now goes Moretti. Marzio Moretti into second. Leonardo Marcellia has pulled away. He's got about five to 10 meters on second, third and fourth. Let's see if Hauger can respond. Can he respond? Not this time, not this time. He'll tuck into the slipstream and try and pull a move in turn one. Let's watch them down the start, finish straight. Through turn one they scream, up over the ripple strip. Moretti. Over Halga in second spot. Halga with a tighter line. Marcellia pulled away a little bit, but the peloton effect, like we see in the Tour de France, or in this case in Giro d'Italia, meant that second, third and fourth were able to reel back in the leaders. That is Moretti with the yellow helmet in second spot. The driver from Baby Race in the Tony Kart, chasing down the CRG. I think he's going to make a move right now. Decides better of it. The driver that did make a move though was Matthew Muller. He's in third place in the energy car. Start on the second row. 
Oh, Moretti tries the outside. Marcelio was not expecting that. This is the last lap of the race. Up the inside goes Moretti. Oh! Muller in the energy car has gone through to take the lead. What a drive from Mattia Muller. He did not qualify very well yesterday. The energy car, we spoke about the CRG, the Lenzo and the Tony car. What about the energy car? Michele Panagata's energy course racing team are now leading with half a lap to go. Down into the final corner. He's gonna make a move surely. Surely up the inside. They're going side by side. The checkered flag is ready. Oh, there's a touch. They're touching NASCAR style down the straight. It's too close to call. The winner, Dennis Helga. He's done it on the line. Three wide. Dennis Helga from Team Gamonto Racing. They are ecstatic in the grandstand in front of me. What a drive. What a win by young Dennis Helga. Team Gamoto CRG have won it from Moretti Negro, who came from 10th on the grid to finish third on the podium. Mattia Mulla, Giuseppe Fusco, Leonardo Marcella dropped five places on the final lap there. Oh, that was sensational. That was sensational. If I hadn't lost my voice earlier today, I certainly have now. They race back into pit lane. The winner, Dennis Hauger for Team Gamoto CRG. The adrenaline is still racing. This is your unofficial results. Hauger from Moretti, from Negro. Matthew Muller, he led on the last lap. We were speaking about the energy car. He was leading. It looked as though he was going to win it. He finished off the podium in four. Great effort, though, to finish one step off the podium. Rocco Alberto Negro came from grid 10 to finish third. Fusco was fifth. Marcellia sixth, ahead of last week's winner, Luigi Coluccio, Rimo Cadapic. Good drive by Lucas Summerlin to finish in ninth. Francesco Pizzi rounds out your top 10. What a start to the finals here this afternoon. 60cc mini final, it went in the blink of an eye. 10 laps, 12 kilometers the distance of this La Conca circuit. Let's have a look at the highlights. This was the start. The Team Gamoto drivers led one and two. Moretti, a great start up into third spot. They tried to pull away from the rest of the field and for a while it was working. But the peloton effect, as we mentioned, meant that they were drawn back into it. There was Moretti having a look. He almost went from third to first in one move. He did eventually get to the lead. Very tight racing, very clean racing. We could say that that is in part to these new CIK bumpers. Say what you like, but they seem to be having effect. It has been clean racing here at La Conca, not just today, but last weekend as well. Matthew Muller in the energy car. That's him in third spot as they took the last lap board. It looked as though he was going to win. This is how tight it was. There he went from third to first in one move. The final corners of the race. It was Bobby NASCAR style down the main straight. We spoke about clean racing. Well, except for the last 50 metres. Your winner, sensationally, Dennis Halga. Marzio Moretti and Rocco Alberto Negro finishing third. We are going to go to the podium presentations in just a few moments to be conducted by my colleague Fabio De Paola. As the last of the carts are pushed into pit lane. That was Sen Yuhan finishing down the bottom of the order, but a nice effort from him. Also driving from Team Gamoto. As we get ready for the podium presentations. Marzio Moretti. 
vincitore dalla Norvegia, from Norway, Dennis Hauger. The young Norwegian on the top of the podium, Dennis Hauger. E adesso viene consegnato il trofeo al terzo classificato, Rocco Alberto Negro. Complimenti a Rocco. Third place, Rocco Alberto Negro. Second place, Marzio Moretti, being presented with second place trophy by Verdiana. And you can see Michaela about to present the winning trophy to Dennis Helga from Norway. The trophy's half the size of the drivers. That was the final corner. So we stand by for the national anthem of Norway. Per il vincitore dunque, Dennis Ogre, abbiamo ascoltato l'inno nazionale della Norvegia, ha vinto davanti a Marzio Moretti e al suo tavolo il numero top step of the podium, all three drivers. What a fantastic sight this is. Opportune time to say special thanks to all the team at WSK Promotion for not only providing this circuit, but bringing us all the events on the WSK calendar for 2015. And straight away we move into the KF final.